Oh, yes, Lord. Y'all already know. When it comes to the Nina Chanel's, man, this one right here was definitely a must cop for 2024. And I'm pretty sure for some people, this might be in their top 10 for 2024. Let's jump straight into it. It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never gon' step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got a lace so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day today. If you guys are new to the channel, before we get all the way into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Join your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, and the Sneaker Dungeon family. I appreciate all the love and support I continue to get from each and every one of y'all. If you guys haven't yet, follow your boy over on Instagram, drop a like on the vid, all that good stuff, man. But today, we're here to talk about the Nina Chanel Air Jordan Retro 3s that came out. Now, Originally, these did release on June 12th, and that was just in selected areas, and then we ended up having the full-blown release on June 20th. Now, this, for me, was my G-Day shoe, and I'll even tell y'all, I'll go as far to say that it kind of remind me of a Georgia vibe, man, like a Georgia peach. So, I had to go ahead and get these, especially being from GA, you know what I'm saying? It was a vibe for me, man, and I, of course, it's just unique, man. I mean, look at the box, man. Look at the box, y'all. The box is crazy, G box is crazy but we gonna go ahead we're gonna bust these bad boys down we're gonna turn the camera around we're gonna do a full detailed review we're gonna throw these bad boys on feet of course enjoy the banger by the broski nemo bands and then we'll wrap the video up so let's go ahead and turn the camera around and get straight into that Yeti. all right so we're gonna start off with the box presentation the box presentation is on point something different something unique you get a different texture on this box the jump man on the top of the lid is different i'm talking about everything is just cool about the box black and white getting hit with that and then on the inside you guys can see you have this green tissue paper you have like it kind of looks like a moon man and 1988 on there and again then you have the stripes you got mvp 23 on there you know all that good stuff right there mj and right here we have the nina chanel joints man i really wanted this sneaker it dropped a day before my g-day so it was only right that i wanted to make this my g-day sneaker but this is the nina chanel abney this retailed for 225 dollars now the crazy thing about this one is it did come out a little bit before the actual release date i want to say that was probably like the 12th that they actually released them but this isn't her first collab with nike she did one or should i say jordan she did the air jordan 2 that wasn't as popular or popping should i say and i like how they did this the jump man that she had and then they gave us the classic jump man she switched up the jump man and i'm not sure if i've ever seen somebody switch up the jump man on a sneaker now when it comes to the upper you do have this canvas upper i think that that's very dope with the suede hits very nice suede hits on this then on the back of the sneaker, you have the Nike Air branding. You have a little orange tag that has a Jumpman on it. I've never seen a Chanel Nike Air branding on the back of a sneaker. And then you have leather back there for the heel tab, which I think that that's pretty dope. Now you do have a pair of rope laces that come with them in and then you also have an extra set nina behind one sneaker which is the right sneaker and then you have air jordan behind the left sneaker when it comes to the inside leather sock liner you have a checkerboard in orange and white then you also have that circle down there and you have that in green with black but then you also have a black jump man that mimics the jump man that she has on her sneaker or on the box should i say the bottom of the sneaker getting hit with that lime green and orange nike air branding kind of like this this remind me of like a Georgia peach, y'all. I really dig the vibes of it. The, you can't go wrong with green and orange mixed together. I just feel like these is a vibe, but y'all already know the vibes. Let me know what y'all think about them. We're gonna go ahead and throw these bad boys on feet. Real demon girl, I can't fuck you to no slow songs. I know real shooters that turn that boy into a ghost form. Really get you far in this city, you say you know us. My niggas know if the police grab them, they don't know none. Money come first at the trap, and I said I show up. Legs like the doors in the Lambo, the way they go up. I need me a ride or die, I promise I ain't gon' slow up. Bro, it's something fast, we at the lights, we doing donuts. Told them do the dash, it come to lights, I think they own us. We gon' drive this bitch until the engine on it blow up. I've been running around 
from all the shit that I be used to It ain't been the same as all the shit that I done been through Got me feeling the way cause your love ain't what it used to Hope your feelings change cause I really don't wanna lose you Take my word if I keep us a secret I ain't gon' lose you Take my word if you tell me a secret I ain't gon' use you But you the one that's entertained all that nonsense Look you and I just so you know I'm being honest All your friends telling you rumors need to stop it Now all that shit they gotta say is in a coffin They say love is like a drug, this shit too toxic Remember nights you slept beside me on the carpet Even had you put it in your purse before we walked in Call you when I'm drunk, girl, I used to no, think that hold on Real demon, girl, I can't fuck you to no slow songs I know real shooters that turn that boy into a ghost form Really get you far in this city, you say you know us My niggas know if the police grab them, they don't know none The money comes first out of trap and I said I show up Legs like the dogs in the land with no air I hope you guys enjoyed the full detail review and on fee over the Nina Chanel Air Jordan Retro 3. Let me know down below if this is the first time that they've done the Nike Air branding like this or maybe I'm just tripping and I've missed it. And let me know as well if this is the first time you've ever seen a Jumpman done different. I can't recall them doing that on any sneaker that came out as far as Jordans. And I think that that's super dope, especially like with the hang tag giving us the air this way and the air this way. And I mean, I just think they did a good job with that man very very fire all the way down to the way they did the tongue kind of giving like that off-white vibe with the distressed look and everything like that suede material on this sneaker on point of course the canvas upper a lot of people might say man them joints gonna crease super bad but i just think they did a great job with this one right here this collab is definitely on point to me to me as of right now i honestly do feel like this is one of the top 10 sneakers to release this year as far as creativity it's really not that hard to stand out but it's also hard to do something different as far as creativity you know you can make a sneaker and it be super fire and just be a dope colorway but it doesn't really stand out this one right here i feel like it did everything the colorway is on point it stood out all the way from insole sock liner the back heel tab the front right here behind the tongue the leather you know what i'm saying like so many different materials in this one you getting an extra set of laces and you actually getting box presentation with the tissue paper that's the way you want to look at a collab you feel me now i'm gonna be honest we have the air jordan retro 3 i'm um, in year that's dropping and i believe we also have a four dropping again this year as well for i'm um, in year i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that i love the i'm um, in year lineup so we'll see how that goes man but this one right here definitely is a banger comment down below did you guys pick a pair of the nina chanel's up this is definitely one for the money you know what i'm saying one for the books 225 suggested retail on these prices did drop on them but trust me i could see these shooting up again and i mean also is this the first time y'all ever seen like a little tab back there like a little little tab i'm telling y'all they did a lot of dope things with this one right here man but comment down below y'all already know i will spin the pictures for you guys i appreciate y'all rocking out with your boy the retro whiz kid and the sneaker dungeon family until the next video like comment subscribe peace love in laguna beach and i'll catch you guys in the next one Eat. Couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I got a lace up these black cement threes And throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid And hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom